Bakawa. Hey friends, Panda here. Oh, for a minute I didn't know where I was. Now I remember. My friend Kim and I are visiting the Lawa Children's Home founded by Phyllis Kaino. We have many chores to do today around the home. Come with us and see what we shall learn about Phyllis and the children she takes care of. Look, a nest, and the mother bird is going to feed the chicks. Kim, I think it's good to have someone in life that makes you feel cared for and wants the best for us. But sadly, not every child gets that. When Phyllis was studying to be a nurse, she always wanted to take care of sick children. Yes, Kim. She loved children so much. She not only cared about their physical health, but she wanted them to be happy and educated as well. But she couldn't help in that way until she started at home. Come on, Pendo. We have so much to do around here. Our next stop is the chicken coop to collect eggs for breakfast. Okay, okay. There is so much to be done today to take care of the children in the home. We better go get the eggs. Next, we need to go fetch the milk too and take it to the kitchen for the children's breakfast. Let's go, Pendo. <laughs> Look at the little calves cuddling with their mothers. They remind me of the children Phyllis met at the first place. They needed to be taken care of too. And when she met her husband Kipchoge Keino... Wait! The great marathoner Kipchoge Keino? Yes, him. When they got married, they knew they wanted to continue this work with their children. Sometimes people chose to adopt other children to be part of their family. Isn't that wonderful? Phyllis had two children, but she adopted three more and made them part of her family. Yes, Kim. Phyllis would farm and grow crops which she would sell to pay for the children's school fees. But with time, she wanted to create a place where children who didn't have parents to care for them could stay and be safe and fed. That's right, Kim. And such a place is called an orphanage. And she built one. But with so many children to take care of, it was getting too small to feed them all. So with the help of Kipchoge, she built another much bigger home so she could care for more children and show them love. And so alongside the orphanage, she also built a school for the children she was taking care of and also for the children in that town. This is such a wonderful story about Phyllis and the home she started. So many children have gotten to be loved and cared for because of her big heart. So many of them have gotten to feel the love and the warmth of a home and a mommy that they never had. Doesn't this story make you want to care for people the way Phyllis cared for them? See you next time for another great story from us here at Paukwa. Bye! Pakawa. Pakawa.